are the five alts. A vampire. A witch. A voodoo priestess. A naturist. <laughs> a modern primitive. We've invited 10 ordinary people to live in our house. And experience our world. <laughs> we will challenge them. You have five glasses of blood to drink. <laughs> Judge them. He has to grow or go. Can you just... And eliminate them one by one. Please leave immediately. Who will dare to open their mind? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Who will impress us the most? Is it what we're looking for in this house? We'll reward the last guest remaining with $100,000. This truly is more than just a guy. Welcome to the Mad Mad House. We'll join you later. Wow. I am very curious about who our hosts will be. They might be a family. You know, it might be people from, you know, mom, dad, a few kids. I hope they're nice. Look at this. It's a little different. Yeah. Oh, look. <gasps> so what year are you in school? I'm a, I'm a fifth year. Don't take enough classes, I guess. <laughs> shame, shame. I go to Abilene Christian University. I like to read the Bible, and I believe in God, and I, I wish everyone was a Christian. What about y'all? What do y'all do? I'm in publishing, book publishing. Yeah, I'm 50 years old. I've lived most of my life pretty much playing by the rules. I would like just once to do something outrageous. I do porn. I'm just kidding. <laughs> psych, psych. So I like to be the center of attention. <laughs> And most of my friends, they'll say that. Nicole loves to be the center of attention. So what do you think our hosts are going to be like? Yeah. I'm at a loss for words. I really don't know. Hi. Hello. <laughs> we have a ring on your finger. She's yes. taken. She's married. Very married. Married. Five with years. three with three boys. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? I'm a big energy person. I tend to be the life of the party. I tend to get things going. I know you're disappointed that the hot chick is married, but you know. <laughs> Bonnie, let's, let's go find the bedrooms. <laughs> Who are you? Eric. Lana. My religious faith is important to me. I read the Bible quite often. I think I'm a good girl. So what do you do, Noel? I work at a barber shop. What do you do? I'm a janitor, like I sweep up all the dead hair. I want to win a crap load of money. I'm not going to lie. I'm a janitor at a barber shop. That's not fun. Hey, we're the old ones. How old are you? 31. Are you really? Yeah. I'm an exotic dancer. To be a successful dancer is being a people person. And I'm going to use that strategy going into the house. Hey. How are you guys doing? I have no clue what to expect. I'm expecting the unexpected in this house. Up here are our other three. You do what now? I just retired being an exotic dancer. Oh, Yay! just retired. And it doesn't mean I'm the black sheep of the house. No, you got my attention like big time. Yeah. When it comes to women, I definitely got game. I like for people to call me Tiger because uh, that's just what I am in certain situations. But anyways, <laughs> that name best suits me because I rip it up. I am from the greatest city in the entire world, New York City. 
Yes, and um, I actually live in a convent. I'm pretty much as conservative as they come. Hence, I work for the Republican Party. I live in a convent because I feel safe there. I feel watched over. Oh, I couldn't live in a convent. Oh, I have something really unique. I'm a virgin. Yeah. You're a virgin? Yeah. Well, hats off to you, honey. That's the only way she can live in a convent if she's a virgin, right? I've been called a good old boy quite a few times. A lot of people would probably get that impression, yet they don't know that I am a little bit edumacated for my accent. Say to the first night in the house, here's to us. Here, here. Coming to a good time. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Welcome to our house. And by the looks on your faces, I can tell that you're anxious to know who we are and why you are here. This is Ia Toshia, the voodoo priestess. Alafia. Art, the modern primitive. Don, vampire. Keep on sucking. <laughs> And Avocado, the naturist. Oh, ho. your name's Avocado? And I'm Fiona, your resident witch. While you are in our house, you will be participating in an intense competition, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We will vote to eliminate you one by one. We will reward the last remaining guest with $100,000. Oh, yeah. Each of you will have to figure out what it takes to stay in the house. And I'll give you just one hint. We are the five alts. This is our house, and we rule. When I first saw the vampire, I was like, whoa, <laughs> I'm back in college <laughs> with the freaks. I try to play that I wasn't nervous, but deep down inside, I'm like, you know, what did I get myself into here? So what made you want to be a vampire? It made me want to be? Yeah, what happened? Like, one day, you're like, I should be a vampire? No, it just happens. It just happens. Yeah. Awesome. Are you, are you witch or Wiccan or both? Yeah. <laughs> you are Wiccan. OK. I'm a witch. Wicca, the religion of witchcraft, has nothing to do with Satan. We recognize a goddess as well as a god, and we do spells and rituals that we believe can create positive change in our lives. We do the rituals and spells to help others, to heal others, and um, to heal ourselves and empower ourselves. Guaranteed that these are all well-paid actors. Well-paid. I'm not quite sure exactly what to think. You know, Don's really you know, a vampire, or an asparagus, or whatever his name is, is <laughs> avocado. Um, in the nature, uh, I don't know, it's still very early. So the guy with the tats, and I don't, I don't know. Dude, that's not tattoo work, so hang What about the ear thing? That might be real. That might be real. I am the modern primitive here. We've taken our bodies and modified them as many other cultures before us have. It being, for me, one of the most beautiful ways of expressing myself as an individual and who I am. What do you have in your, um... That's my, that's my spirit doll, that's Conley. Does she have a face? It has a spirit face. A priestess of the Boudon tradition is someone who lives their life in a way that, that you know, basically celebrates, affirms, teaches the ways of the ancient Africans. I'm not judging you guys, but what you guys are studying is something that I usually don't play with. I believe in it, but I don't believe in playing with it. If I can get everybody's attention, yeah. If I can get everybody's attention. I'm sure you all have been wondering what these sleeping arrangements are going to be for tonight. Upstairs, you'll find a dorm room that sleeps five. So that means five of you will be sleeping with us in our rooms for the night. Avocado, would you like to choose the first roommate? 
Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna choose Kelly. Whoa, I, I just said he has to pick a guy, doesn't he? I was a little uneasy with sleeping in the same room with a guy that I don't know. But in a, in a house like this, I guess anything goes. Shia? Brent. All the alts are just very different people from me. I'm a conservative guy, so I'll be out of my comfort zone. Eric. Good luck, <laughs> I was nervous because A, Don is a vampire, and B, uh, everyone was kind of razzing after I got picked. Hey, he's not a virgin, but he's innocent. <laughs> Honey. I can do that. Hey. <laughs> I can do that. I can work with that. When Fiona said that, I was like, all right, I'm going to score. <laughs> I have no problems with that at all. <laughs> Nicole. So there's no shoes in here. That's part of the rules. Okay, so in I need to take them yeah, off. So shoes come off. Okay. You know what? Let me sage you. You cool with that? Sage you ever been saged? What does that mean? Sage is like. You ever, you ever smell that? It just blows all the negative spirits out. Okay. So it's just keeps the energy clean in the, in, the, in the space. OK. Is that cool? Sure. OK, just go ahead and stand up and just do one of these. It's not like, a, it's not like an airport. <laughs> a naturist is a person who lives in nature, corresponds to nature's laws to the most obvious degree. For example, I eat only raw food because all the animals in nature only eat raw food. Of energy is going away. I'm rooming with one of the people that will vote. That's somebody you can definitely get on your side. I didn't want him to think I was like not relaxed and cool. I wanted him to like me. What I'd like to ask you to do first of all is to remove your shoes. Okay. Because this is a sacred space. Okay. And then we stop here. Don't okay. step I'm on sorry. the vey vey. I'm sorry. And we had to pay homage to a shoe. So welcome to my shrine and my space. I'm OK with learning about what her beliefs are, but I just don't think I'll be able to participate in any rituals. I would rather learn about them just because I'm a Christian, and that's never going to change. Well, at first, when they were making the roommate selection, I didn't know if I wanted to be one of their roommates at first because I didn't know what it meant. And then as they were like selecting people, I kind of felt a little left out in some ways. <laughs> you like? Yeah, it's nice. Is this yours? <laughs> <laughs> to be a vampire is to be in touch with the darker side of nature. I feed upon people's energy by drinking their blood. I do this to achieve a higher state of consciousness. <sighs> Are you claustrophobic? <laughs> Are you claustrophobic? <laughs> Getting in touch with the darkness in one way would be sleeping in a casket or a coffin. Most people would not want to be caught dead inside of a casket or a coffin. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty uh, close. All right, go ahead and come out now. Is there something wrong with the casket? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't open. Try again. Uh. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, we are going to sleep. It's not my idea, trust me. <laughs> I'm not used to snakes. Then there's like a broom in there of some sort. In a room like that, I'd probably sleep with one eye open. I mean, I might like wake up and be like a toad or something tomorrow. First morning waking up in Avocado's room, he walks around completely, completely naked in front of me. I was just shocked. Oh, cool. Yeah. What do you have in your uh, 
conch. That's a conch piercing, obsidian. It's a natural glass. Does it, it doesn't interfere with your hearing? Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> chocolate and chocolate massive herbs and herbs. Start with that. I did try one of avocado smoothies. Wasn't quite sure what to expect. Crazy medicinal herbs in there. Yeah, it's got a, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, it gives you a little uh, jump start, you know? <laughs> Jumping around a little bit. Woo! Woo! We <laughs> don't You guys want a perk? He's the man to talk to. He's a brave man over here. <laughs> I was kind of surprised by everything, because everybody else is kind of taking it as a joke. But for me, I'm just kind of like taken aback when I first saw all the hosting yeah, stuff, because I was like, how serious are they? That's cool. You kind of share the same viewpoints with me. I know. I'm just kind of I have a lot of respect for Lana, because I've got to talk with her one-on-one -on -one about her faith, and when I was, when I had questions about stuff, she was there for me. Like, I knew coming into this that I didn't know anybody, and if everyone else was doing everything, I wouldn't care, yeah. you know? I'd step away from it if I didn't want to. Hola. So today I got to survey the ground, and I thought I'd take everyone tonight on a little bit of a night hike and show you some cool things. I told them they were going on a nature hike, but there was something else in store for them. I hear water. Welcome to your first trial. The winner will be granted three privileges. Number one, you'll be safe from the upcoming elimination. Number two, you will have the privilege to sit with the rest of the alts during the upcoming deliberation ceremony as we decide which of you we want to eliminate. Number three, should our votes result in a tie, the trial winner will cast the tie-breaking vote. The first thing I want you to do is pair up. Funny. For centuries, vampires like myself have been associated with certain myths. However, we don't fear garlic, we don't fear crosses, and we don't sleep upside down like a bat. One guest at a time from each pair will climb into the bloodbath and grab one of these objects, crosses, garlic, and bats. You are going to be placing it within the chalice of the person that you do not want to win this trial. At the end of three minutes, the guest with the fewest objects in her goblet is the trial winner. When I drop my handkerchief, let the bloodbath begin. All the way inside. We're all jumping in this hideous stuff. It's warm, it's goopy, it's slimy. It was sticky and uncomfortable and it was thick. My game plan, I was gonna go after Nicole. She was right next to me and she's the person I least like. like put a piece of garlic into mine and I was like oh hell no you didn't do that <laughs> you've got 30 seconds left <laughs> Oh, this is bloody good! Yeah! Time's up! The guest with the fewest objects in her goblet is the trial winner.
The winner is safe at the upcoming elimination ceremony. Woo! Bonnie, go ahead and count how many you have. One, two, three, four, five. Kelly, now it's your turn. Wow. Four. Nobody likes me. Five, six, 12, 13. You guys all hate me. Ah, 13 for Kelly. That doesn't look too good. No. Nicole? Nine. Lana? Wow. Impressive. Lana, that means you've taken the lead. Four garlic cloves. Eric? Five. Jamie? One, two, three garlic clips. It looks like it's a tie between Lana and Jamie. Brent, it's your turn. I have one garlic clove. What? Now that looks promising. <laughs> I mean? Eight. And Tim is shaking his head. Three garlic claws. Congratulations, Brent. Looks like you're the winner of the trial. You'll be safe from the elimination. Let's head back to the house. Kelly was very upset after the bloodbath. She starts saying, I hate everybody. I don't trust anyone. I'm not going to talk to anyone. Let's give a shot to celebrate the bloodbath game. Yeah. Pour it up, bartender. I don't got nothing to celebrate. I was very upset. I was shocked. If I stayed there, I was going to start yelling at somebody. I went into the bedroom, and I was just crying and crying and crying. Until tonight, I felt as if I could trust everybody in the house. Now I'm not so sure. So I had a long talk with Avocado. It's not just about the bad, it's, you know, the bad. It's so deep. It's OK to cry. It's OK to cry. Don't let them see that. Everybody creates their own reality. And Kelly was imprinted with something, probably it started in her youth, that she's the one who gets picked on, she's the one who gets laughed at. You know, my guess is, my guess is, uh, this isn't the first time this has happened to you. No. See? And it's a pattern in her life that she keeps dealing with. How you come back from this is everything. Because you come back strong and happy, their opinion of you is going to drastically shift. I think she was crying. I put four, like at least three or four straight in there. She told me, like in high school, she was always last, and people didn't like her. So I guess from the, drawing from that, I can understand why she was so sad. I just assumed like nobody here liked me. The game was supposed to be played where you drop one in the person you don't want to win. But no one had time to do that because everybody's scattering and running around. You just throw it in whatever pot's closer to you so you can get the hell back and go get another one. Then everybody was saying, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry afterwards. Please, don't say you're sorry when you purposely dove in the blood, you ran out of the blood, and you dumped it in there. You don't say you're sorry. You did that on purpose. Tonight it was just like, felt like I was trying out for cheerleading and all the girls are being mean to me again. Like back in that moment, everything that's happened in between graduating high school and now was obliviated. It was just me back there. I do worry for her in the house. I really worry for her. I'm not sure this is the best place for her. By 11.30, I was hungry for a sandwich. I had my sandwiches all made, and the sun was finally out. OK, time to go eat my sandwich. So I look, and there was Art buck nude. I saw him, and it's like, oh my gosh. He had no shorts or nothing. I wanted to go lay or sit out on the lounge chair out there, and I walk around, and Art's out there buck naked. I don't want to lay out next to a naked guy while I eat my lunch. See, I'm walking back and forth. I walk back in the kitchen thinking I'll wait till somebody else goes out. I went like maybe three or four trips and looked out. Oh, yeah. 
Finally, I just said, you know what? There was an empty chair here, and then there was art, and then there were about four or five other empty chairs past, and I said, I'll go to the far one down there, and at least then, if I looked or anything, that I wouldn't be able to see them. How you doing? Roughing it out here. You betcha. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, I respect you highly, but I'm going to lay oh, down no, here. No. I don't think I could sit and eat my lunch beside a naked man. Oh, come on now. While you were playing ball. Yes, I have showered in a community shower with fellow teammates. Oh, you did? Give me another 10 days with you, then we'll talk. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to gather everyone for a ritual ceremony tonight. This is the first time guests will be asked to take part in one of our rituals, and we will be judging them on their willingness to step out of the realm of their everyday lives. You're about to be immersed into the traditional rites and rituals of voodoo ceremonies. And then as you come forward, I will clean you with the rosemary. Main criteria in my judgment of whether they should stay as a guest in the house is their willingness to expand, to grow, and to spend the time to be able to do that. Sorry, because of my Christian faith, I cannot participate, but I would still like to observe. Ashe, come forward. Same situation as him. Okay. I do have great respect for your beliefs, but I would like to observe. Okay. okay. Feel more comfortable. You know. Thank you. What I'm going to do now is give you the tribal markings to signify your transformation into another realm. I dotted Noel, Eric, Jamie, and Nicole. There were six others who made a decision not to be dotted. I was disappointed that they did not participate, and that could be a factor when it comes time for elimination. The sacred drummers will play the songs for the deity. These songs invoke ancestral spirits and bring them forth in a state of possession. <laughs> told myself I wasn't going to go out of my comfort zone because I don't know a whole lot about the ceremony. I think that the four of us who participated tonight made a stance to show that we're open to trying new things. But we're not afraid. We're here for whatever this experience brings us. I felt strongly about not participating because I knew that the drums being played had something to do with some kind of gathering of spirits. The intensity was building. The drums began to talk to the spirit. The spirits were coming. I did become possessed during the ceremony. I think it was very real, and it really got uh, quite a few people in the group uh, shaking at the knees. If you let go of your fears, you're going to see so many things that you never even thought you could see before. The deity came forth to bring messages that they want to get out in a way that only they can express it. As you, I didn't know because you act a little weird, but you opened the way for me. You make a lot of things happen. But what's important is that you make things happen for you. And you, you don't know your ancestors was on this ship with all of us? You forget? You forget that they died so you could be here, that they took beatings on their back? Something was going on. It just freaked me out. At that point, I knew I was in too deep, and I was ready to head for the hills. One day you remember, you must learn your history. Besides it being a ceremony, it served as a testing point. That did show how fortified people are within their beliefs. Because I felt like, you know, yesterday was a big thing. I feel like that was a, a yeah. big thing. Yeah. She uh, kind of called me out last night. 
You don't know your ancestors died so you could be here, that they took beatings on their back? You must learn your history. I feel like I want to know more about it before I jump into the big thing. I believe mm -hmm. in the things that you guys believe, and that's what makes me scared is that I know it's not a joke. Yeah. Like for me to get up and dance with everybody will be fake for me because I'll be doing it because they're doing it. Hameen is terrified of any African-based practice. After a while, you know, it's like you just want to go, boo. <laughs> Have you guys been thinking about elimination at all? Yeah, but I, I think it's wide open. I think everybody's a little on edge and nervous going into the eliminations. Everybody's a little unsure about where they stand. It, I mean, you're immune. I was going to say, what if, like, it's a tie and they force you to decide, or you're just going to let Cry. it go? <laughs> Cry. No, I have the back of my mind. There's a possibility of a tie, at which point I have to vote somebody off, and I'm not comfortable with that. What do you think? I, I think anyone's game. There's a couple people I wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't vote you off. There's like one or two people that kind of rub me the wrong way. Like, Nicole just drives me nuts. I think she puts on a show a lot of the time. And I think Kelly puts on a show, too. I don't know too much about Kelly, but I don't know if I'd vote her off or not. She's hot. Oh, Lana, yeah. She's gonna miss the body. She is cute. Yeah. She's a cool girl. Mm. I think she's real cool. Yeah. To be honest with you, I thought the names that were gonna come up were gonna be me and you. But since you won, you're out of the whole process. If it, you know if it comes up from the tie, I got you, dog. That's cool, then. Time for our deliberations. Time to decide which of our guests are open to new experiences and which one of them must go. Now, Brent, as you are this week's trial winner, should our elimination result in a tie, you will cast the deciding vote. Let's start with Lana. Lana, to me, um, very sweet. She doesn't challenge me, and I don't think she challenges herself. She's really a powerful person but she's so afraid to own her power. And when you're so closed as a person that you're just not willing to like, even open a crack, it's really a detriment. Lana, at the moment, is just hiding behind her mainstream mask, is what I would say. Kelly, um, I think she's certainly out of everyone in the house. All our guests has exhibited the most growth. I think she was very brave in how she dealt with what happened at the bloodbath. Kelly is defending herself at all times. I think that she's very sensitive, and I think that Kelly's defensiveness can eventually cause dissension in the house. Honestly, though, three of the alts are guys. I'm kind of like the good Catholic girl slash outspoken idiot. But I feel like the alms are kind of corrupting me and they're enjoying that. Eric, Eric the Viking. Every single time I see him, I realize that he is after that $100,000. I think he's he's here for one reason and... Show me the money. Show me the money. <laughs> Hameen in my estimation, is holding back. I see that Hameen is the player. He is dodging. He's, he's limiting his attention with the men, focusing more on the women, and not showing his cards. The uh, voodoo ritual, it touched something in him, mm -hmm. and particularly the messages that the spirit came and brought to him about his lack of acknowledgement and recognition of his, his African ancestry with Hameen was like, I'm gonna be in your face. <laughs> You're gonna grow or go. No, for me, um, I am, you know, it's very rare that I take a dislike to anyone. I took an immediate aversion to him when he made uh, fun of Don. 
on sucking. He twisted a little nerve inside me because he was one of the first ones that right away laughed at us. Something about him that does kind of ruffle my feathers. Let's bring this deliberation to a close. you will be leaving tonight. Each of us will cast our vote to eliminate you by placing our necklace around your neck. After we have cast our votes, whomever has the most necklaces will be eliminated. In case of a tie, Brent will cast the deciding vote. I will cast the first vote. I will cast the first vote. I mean, you did not give all that you could give. To survive in our house, you have to earn it. Art, please cast your vote. Please cast your vote. I would have liked to have seen a lot more participation of showing your microcosm inside of you and sharing it with the greater macrocosm of everybody that's here and also the rest of the alts. Fiona, please cast your vote. Lana, you're a lovely girl, very, very sweet. But I don't feel that you are contributing fuel to the fire of transformation that burns in this house. Hameen now has one necklace. Kelly has one necklace. Lana has two necklaces. Ia Tashia, please cast your vote. It is not I, but the ancestors that have directed me to place this necklace upon your neck. You must go back and reclaim your past in order to move forward and claim your future.
Amin has two necklaces. Lana has two necklaces. Would the two of you please step forward? Since we have a tie, our bloodbath trial winner, Brent, will cast the deciding vote. Lana, I think you're a great person. Got a, got a good heart on you. Had some one-on-one -on -one time with you. Um, I mean, I think you're a good, good person too. But it's, a, it's at this time I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to make the decision to. It's at this time I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to make the decision to... Ask him, I mean to leave. Lana, please step back and rejoin the group. I mean, please step forward. The other alts could join me. I felt like Brent was one of the closest guys that I had in the house, and I'm really shocked that he voted me off. I've been backstabbed. I mean, please leave immediately. I could have put on a front. I probably could have lasted longer. I could have pretended like I liked a lot of things that was going on in the house, but I didn't believe in some of the things that was going on. I came into the house being myself. I'm leaving the house being myself. All I could be is me.